Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Sam here, back with another uh, pickups uh, video from the car. Freaking hot, I got the AC on again. Uh, I'm going to show really quick. Uh, before I start though, um, really quick, I want to um, say thank you to everybody that's been supporting my channel and you know, uh, giving me feedback and leaving comments and I really appreciate it guys. It, it, you guys motivate me to do and go to that next level and uh, I, I mean I'm there to support whoever supports me either or I mean it doesn't matter I have been watching a lot of these YouTube channels and you know just it, I, I just love it man the the community is so is so great and everybody you know gives props to each other and I'm always there to support so thank you guys for you know as I said giving me feedback thank you very much um and um, you know it's it's really fun as I said as well so you know and a lot of you I know um, I read comments here and there on other people's pages where uh, you guys say that you can't you don't find games or it's really tough to find games you got to get out there and search I mean at first when I first started even before making any of these videos I wouldn't even I didn't even know about the flea market tell you guys the truth now it's pretty much my honey hole so this is what I'm doing thrift stores are pretty much done for me I mean I go every now and then but really dry in my area at least around the area that I live at first it was good or even if they have anything decent they charge like an arm and a leg for it or they just put it on eBay they have their own thing so I mean they get it for free and they make all that money off it so I mean those uh you know i speak for myself not for others but uh in my area those two three dollar games are done hopefully it'll come back again so anyway uh and enough of that again thank you guys for um you know supporting my channel and you know taking time and watching my videos so uh, i'm just gonna get into the pickups really quick got a bunch of stuff i had to come back to my car <laughs> and uh uh Put the stuff in my trunk and go for the second time and my backpack got filled up again for the second time and uh yeah i even ended up walking with one bag in my hand when usually it fits in my backpack but it was a lot of stuff so uh it took a lot of space so i had to go back to my car anyway i'm gonna start off with these first uh these are non-video game related but i got them but th since they were brand new and a dollar a piece uh said why not uh, all right here we go uh, this is a Walt Disney masterpiece collection uh, 50th anniversary melody times VHS tapes but they're all brand new uh, Mickey's once upon a Christmas um, these I know there's a GameCube game on this one that's why I picked them up uh, it is like a basically like a series or something like that um and uh that is metabots volume one i also got metabots uh that's volume two again these are all brand new so metabots volume six These are kind of dirty. When I get them, I'll oh, get home. I'm going to wash, uh, clean them, actually. Clean them up. Uh, Digimon the movie. Metabots Volume 4. Some of them have like a plasticky cover. The other ones feel like nylon. I don't know. Like shrink wrap. I think yeah, I got a lot of these. I don't know. Metabots Volume 4 again. I know there's some a uh, couple PlayStation games in here as well. So it was just all spread across the floor and the ladies like, I think they're husband and wife. And they're like, dollar, dollar a piece, dollar, dollar. I was like, okay, why not? Pick them up. Metabots Volume 6. Stack these up in front of me. Metabots Volume 3. So that's pretty cool as well. I think I found like three or four of these. I don't know. There was a bunch of them, so I grabbed them, whatever that was there. And Metabots Volume 4. And I also got two uh, two PS2 games, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, actually, it's Grand Theft Turismo 3 A Spec. Get 
it is complete. And uh, UFC throwdown. The case is broken up, but uh, it's like plastic, pretty much. They chewed it off. I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> anyway, uh, discs were good in good condition. I checked them. And I've been wanting to do a PS2 collection video, but I keep finding PS2 games. So it's kind of difficult to do that. Um, so I'm just adding on to them. First, I'm going to do the PS1, though, and then a PS2 uh, collections video. And I also love making those collection videos. So it's really fun. Now, this one was freaking awesome as well man I think I paid 13 bucks for all that so it was like 13 pieces something like that yeah so all this this is a lady that I know she uh, brings like a bunch of games a lot of times and this is the lady that I actually got a few Dreamcast games from um, I also picked up Kleno a 2 from this lady so before she would say like oh yeah two three dollars two three dollars is that so there was a stack of games and I made a pile. Um, so what happened was, put some music on. Music not going on. Um, and then uh, what happened was she goes, oh, $5 a piece. I was like, what happened? You used to give me like a dollar, two, you know, three dollars. And she goes, oh, I go to a different place and I sell them for like 10 bucks, just that, $7 to $10. Uh, I was like, no. So I made a pile, it was basically five bucks a piece, and she said, um, $90. I'm like, whoa, five bucks a piece isn't bad, but I'm not doing 90. I mean, and I'm far from cheap, man. If I want something, I'll get it. But the point of video game hunting, especially in the wild, is to get games as cheap as possible. That's the whole point of it. Otherwise, stay at home and, you know, buy it off Amazon and eBay or whatever. Um, anyway, uh, I was, she was like, make me an offer, make me an offer, this and that. And, uh, it, it comes to the point, like, I was like, nah, I'm not going to do 90. I can't do 90 because there's other booths that I want to go and, uh, you know, find other stuff. And I did. Um, anyway, uh, so I said, can you do at least 50 for all these games? There's a bunch of games in here. I'm not quite sure. I stacked them up. Maybe, let's see, one, two, three, five, six. Ten plus games for sure. I'm going to show it right now. So I said, could you do 50? And uh, she said, uh, best I could do is 60. I was like, all right, cool. Take the 60. Thank you very much. Uh, mixed up games. Call of Duty 4. I'm going to show them right now really fast. Game of the Year Edition. Modern, uh, Modern Warfare. That. Saints Row 2. Hitman Absolution. They're pretty much all complete. I think some of them are missing the manuals though. Um, but that's fine. Halo 3 Essentials. I hadn't seen this. I wouldn't be surprised if this has a some kind of a slip cover, but I don't know. At first I was like, is it a DVD? But it's actually a Xbox 360 game. Oh, uh, because from the cover it looks kind of like, yeah. So that is disc one and disc two, yeah. So it has the manual. Flip that, and that's the disc two. Oh, uh, Left for Dead. This is Platinum Hits. These are actually really fun games. I think I don't have part two of that. Uh, Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway. I hadn't heard of this. I know there's one on the PS2. I think it's Brothers in Arms. Uh, the one on the PS2. Road, Road to something. I forgot the name of it, but yeah. Uh, Ghost Recon 2. Oh, that's a PS2 game. Cool. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, I'm stacking up on the PS2 games. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Ghost Recon for the Wii. 
get to play with the uh, uh, we tri uh, trigger gun or whatever it's called. You put the thing in there, uh, the nunchuck and the Wemo. Uh, the manual's missing, but the disc is in there. Another PS2 game, IHRA Motorsport Drag Racing 2. No manual. Uh, Avatar of the Last Airbender, The Burning Earth, 360 game. I think there's a fighter from the back cover arts, looks like. Alright. Condemned Criminal Origins. Yesterday's paper. <laughs> this is a badass song. Uh, yeah, that's complete right there. Call of Duty 3. That's complete as well. Call of Duty World at War. I think I got the same one or this is a different one. I don't know. That is also complete. Oh, stacks right here, man. Titanfall. No manual, seems like. Um, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Xbox original game. Uh, I think this is exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Lower that a little bit. Uh, Unreal 2 The Awakening. I think I have part one of this. Um, but it has that cool Atari sticker in there as well. That's freaking badass. So yeah. Uh, this one was sealed. PS3. Um, I think I had this. I sold it for whatever reason. On the 360 it was. And um, I got it for the PS3 and it's brand new. South Park. What is that? The Stick of Truth. It's actually a pretty fun. Um, I think it's an RPG game. And this one. The last game. Uh, Battle Fantasia, I hadn't heard of this one ever before. I hope it's a good one. It looks like a fighter. I don't know. Yeah. It is complete. So yeah, 60 bucks for all that, guys. I think it was a great deal. Great deal. Oh yeah, that was that, 60 bucks, I think that was great, um, I picked this up for 7 bucks, it was brand new sealed, oh, uh, I said why not, it looks like a board game, The Walking Dead to Prison, it's still sealed, for 7 bucks, heck yeah, and I love my board games, uh, it looks pretty interesting, I don't know, for now I might keep it sealed, So, yeah, it looks, I don't know, I think it's a board game, I hope it is, I don't know, so it looked cool, I said why not, I want to pick it up, yeah, it's a board game for one to six players, so that's pretty cool, alright, let's put that in the back, oh, got more stuff to show really quick, Oh, I got all these for 15 bucks, different seller. Uh, PS2 game, Need for Speed Underground. That is complete. I've never seen or heard of this one, Super Pickups. PS2 game, seems like a racing game. Speed Racer the video game. I think there's there was a port of this on the uh, on the Wii too, if I'm not mistaken. PS2 Speed for uh, thing. Yeah, Speed Racer the video game. It is complete. Oh, already 15 minutes in on this video. All right, let's speed it up. Uh, Mech Assault. 
Xbox original. Seems like a yeah, it's a it's an exclusive. Uh, Unreal Championship. That is complete. I think this is the first time the first person shooter 007 Nightfire for the GameCube. That is complete as well. And uh, Superman, the Man of Steel. I don't know if this is a good game. I'm not sure. But uh, I love the coll uh, collect the exclusives for the Xbox. So I picked it up. 15 bucks for all these games. Definitely worth it. Uh, this was a different seller. Another PS2 game. Uh, ATV2 Quad Power Racing. Got that for 2 bucks. This was the only game complete. Oh. PlayStation Four, uh, brand new controllers. I don't have a PS4 yet. I, I think I got like four or five of them. Uh, I paid like 30 bucks for all of these. So yeah, I think there's like four or five of them in there. Uh, yeah, there's five of them. 30 bucks, all brand new. Um, I'm definitely gonna flip those to make some money back so I could go out the game hunt again. Uh, these were cool non-video game related, but uh, brand new snapback hats, uh, Superman hat. With the uh, very, uh, how do you say it? Um, that word's not coming to mind. Patriotic kind of, with the with the stars, red, white, and blue, and our American flag. That's pretty cool. So it still has the tag on there. And this is just me. When it comes to snapback hats, I don't wear them backwards. I have to wear them forwards. If it's like fitted hats like this, I wear them backwards, also forwards. But usually I like it back. But it's something about it. I don't like that opening on the back, so I always wear my snapbacks forward, basically like that. That's just me. I don't know. And another Superman hat. I got these two for five bucks, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, she was saying three a piece. Some lady was selling it. Superman. This is freaking badass, and I love my hats as well. So I might be wearing one of these next time I go out uh, to game hunt, or just wherever. Yeah, two for five on those. That was pretty cool. What else did I get? Oh, and I the last few things looks like. What do I feel like I had more stuff? But anyway, I got all these for five bucks. Um, these are uh, movies. What about Bob? Oh, uh, Encino Man. This is a really good one. Pretty funny. And uh, My Girl. That's another classic. And I also got a 360 game, Call of Juarez, Bound in Blood. I believe, yeah, this is a first-person shooter. I might give this a play when I get home. Get some beers and, you know, Corona time. And play some games. Why not? So, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. That was long enough. Um, so, yeah. Until the uh, next clip, Sam is out. Hey, what's up guys? Sam here. Uh, back with another clip. Gonna show what I picked up really fast. Uh, today's Sunday. I actually came to the flea market as well on um, on Saturday, which was the 15th. Today's Sunday, the 16th. Alrighty. Uh, really fast, as I said, I'm gonna show you uh, what I got. First game I'm going to show is a Game Boy Advance game. Um, it's a Disney game, and I think there's one for the PS2. I don't know about the other consoles, but um, is this thing even recording? Yeah. All right. I just wanted to make sure it's recording because the sun's hitting on the phone, and I can't barely see anything. Um. Yeah, I picked up uh, Ratatouille, so that's pretty cool. 
another hot day today. I think it's like in the 90s. Oh yeah, and before I go into anything, let me guys know all the hip hop lovers. I'm a heavy hip hop follower since a little kid. I was listening to rap and hip hop. Let me know, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the new Eminem album, Kamikaze. I think it was freaking fire, man! Incredible. As as much as people say that he fell off, he could never fall off, man. He's a freaking lyrical assassin, and uh, he's just one of the greatest that's ever done it. This is again my opinion. Um, just a super lyricist, and I love the lyrical hip hop. I'm not into that mumble rap, mumba jumba stuff. Uh, all these weird dudes with their weird crap, whatever they're doing. The industry is pretty much like all uh, skittles and bubblegum. It's like all this sweet stuff. So I don't know. Again, that's my opinion. He also made a diss to MGK. I think that was crazy too. He could have went a lot harder, but it was still a freaking badass track, no question about it. And it's, uh, what was it called? Kill Shot? So yeah, that was that. Anyway, uh, back to the games. That was just my thoughts about um, what's going on in, in the, in the hip-hop world. And he's pretty much stirring it up. And I think the rap beefs are going to start again. Anyway, no particular order, guys. Uh, I'm going to show, as I said, really quick what I picked up. This was really cool. It's a third-party controller, um, but a uh, Nintendo NES dog bone controller. Obviously not the, the exact actual official one, but it's pretty cool. It's a, uh, a dog bone controller nonetheless, and I wanted one of these for two bucks in the box. Uh, two dollars on that. Uh, I paid 15 for all these, so it was pretty cool. Uh, Jet Moto 2 for the PS1, Gran Turismo. I used to play this a lot as a kid, as a teenager. It's really heavy too. Um, there's like two manuals in there. It's only one game, but it's a thick double, double case type. I also picked up uh, Kirby's Pinball Land, so that's pretty cool. And uh, Mario Pinball Land as well for the GBA, so 15 bucks for all that. Well, I got these three movies for two bucks. It was a dollar a piece, and then the lady said, uh, it was some lady selling, she said, pick up another one for two bucks. So basically, I got another, you know, uh, three movies for a buck, uh, two bucks, sorry. Uh, I Spy DVDs, 12 rounds. I like John Cena's movies, he's a really good actor. Um, Alpha Dog, this is a very good movie. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. It's, I think, it's based on a true story. Back these up to make room. Uh, I got these two for 18 bucks. I think it was worth it. Not bad. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the 3DS. Everything's in there. Um, uh, Pokemon Y. I think that's complete. That should be the manual right there. Yeah, looks like that. And it has all the inserts and everything. So. That's pretty cool. Oh, actually, I got these two and a PS2 game, which I don't think I've ever heard of this one. MX2002 featuring Ricky Carmichael. I don't think I have this one. So that's another PS2 edition, which is cool. And I love finding PS2 games and all these games. So these three, basically, I got for uh, 18 bucks. Yeah, 18 for those. And then these two, they're um, Xbox 360 games. There was some kids selling them. Apparently like 10, he was probably like 10 years old, give or take, I don't know, with his parents on his side. 
So he said three bucks a game, and I said, uh, would you take two for five? And then the, the father, I guess, the son's, uh, the kid's dad was like shaking his head, like, yeah, you know. Um, so I got Earth Defense Force 2017. I'm not sure if I have this one, because I think there's like three of them. Uh, but these are really fun games. Um, I'm not sure if I had this one though, so anyway. And I also got Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard. So that is complete as well. Uh, two for five. That was, that was a pretty good deal. If I don't say so myself. Oh, this was crazy. A lot of shovelware, but I picked out the good ones. It was a box of like Super Nintendo, uh, N64, uh, Nintendo games. And I was just digging and digging and, you know, I got everything for 50 bucks. I think it was a great deal. Um, she said five a piece, but it was some lady again selling. This is the lady that I got the Super Scope in the box from. So... Uh, she said, you know, make a pile, I'll give you a deal, and she's really nice, and I try to be nice with these people, um, you know, to get good deals, and I, I try to get even more friendly with them. Not just that, that's my personality, I like being friendly with people. As they say, uh, you'll catch more uh, bees with honey than vinegar, you know what I mean? So, that's just my nature, as I said, too. I like to be uh, nice to people, treat people the way you want to be treated, so, you know. Anyway... Um, uh, as I said, 50 bucks for everything. I tried to get it lower, but she said no. So I got a uh, perfect dark. That's one. Let's stack them up over here. Hexen. Super Mario World. Uh, Casino Kid. I don't think I have this one. This dream cat, uh, little Nemo, the dream master. I hope this is picking up, man. I can barely see myself because of the sun. Oh, I never heard of this one before. That's a property of Blockbuster, and the label's screwed up. I hate that. Damn. Uh, Twisted Edge Extreme Snowboarding. So that looks pretty interesting. Hopefully, it's a fun snowboarding game. Uh, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. I'm gonna trade or flip that. I'm not interested in Star Wars. Um, I was looking out for this one and I heard it's a really cool uh, racing game. Mickey Speedway USA. It's probably like Mario Kart with uh, Disney characters. Uh, Pilot Wing 64. Saban's Power Rangers, uh, Lightspeed Rescue, I don't know, I hope that's a good one, Black Cartridge, another Pilot Wing 64, um, I also got Wii Sports, I guess this is how these came, then there's the one with the plastic case as well, has the manual and everything, um, and a Sega Genesis game. I think there's a pretty good one. Chakan. Let's see if that's going to pick it up. Chakan or Chakan. I think that's a good one. And uh, I also found this one. Uh, after digging like two or three times out of the bin, this one popped up. Uh, I didn't see it at first. So I was like, whoa, I didn't have this. Uh, Clay Fighter 63 and one third. Imagine if that was Sculptor's Cut. That's a really tough game to find. Which that was a blockbuster exclusive, I think. So that was pretty much it for that. Um, 50 bucks for all that. Oh, I picked this up Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Three bucks. It is complete. Crash games are super fun. Really fun. Oh, something fell on the back over there. And um, I picked this up for all for 30 bucks, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what else is there? No, that's it. Yeah, these are the last few things. 
a Dragon Ball GT transformation. Donkey Kong Country 3 for the GBA. I'm still looking out for part three. I have the first two for the Super Nintendo. I think I have the first two, or I only have the first one. I'm not sure. Oh, so many game games to keep track of. It's, uh, Pokemon Ruby version. I also got a few more PS2 games, Alone in the Dark. It's complete. Uh, Shonen Jumps One Piece Grand Battle. That's missing the manual. And uh, G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. I was looking out for this one for a while. It's a really cool uh, uh, shooter type game. I think kind of like a run and gun. That's the best way to describe it. But uh, I have seen the gameplay of it. It looks really interesting. So yeah. So I think yeah, it was like 30 bucks for all this. Something like that. Yeah, 30. That was pretty much it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, until the next one, if I find anything else within this month, whenever I have time, I'll probably make another clip. Uh, if not, I'll just uh, show the things overall together. I'm um, in the pickups room. All right, that's pretty much it. Sam is out. Hey, what's up, guys? Sam here. Uh, on the way to the flea market, today is September 18th, I believe, uh, Tuesday. And on the way, there was some guy that always sells, like, random stuff on a street, like, on a sidewalk. Uh, so far, not bad. I mean, I found a couple of Xbox original games. Uh, three bucks a piece, so I paid six for both. Um, starting off pretty good, not bad. Uh, Shrek Super Slam. And the discs are in pretty, uh... Pretty okay condition, not bad. A few uh, scratches here and there and stuff. Uh, I think this is like a Super Smash Brothers type game. And uh, I also got The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer. So uh, I hadn't heard of that. I know this is a pretty fun game. Uh, I have the, I think it's the first one on the PS2. Um, so yeah, got these two for six bucks. Started off pretty good. Now I'm on my way to the flea market. If I find uh, anything else, I'll show it in the car again. All right, Sam's out. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Sam here, back with another video game uh, pickups video. Uh, I'm just going to get right into it because uh, there is a lot of stuff to show. So uh, as usual, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. All right, um, I don't want to waste any time, like I said. I uh, just want to get right into it. Because there is a, a found a bunch of stuff, great things again. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So here we go. All right, uh, first thing I'm going to show is this game right here uh, for the original Xbox. Uh, it's uh, Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. Um, it is complete. I picked this up for um, three bucks, three dollars. Uh, next thing I'm going to show, these are in no particular order, as usual, it's just as far as from what I remember when I got it and what I paid for it, um, what I paid for and what I got, I try to like bundle up together so I don't mix it up with the other stuff. Um, I got all these three for um, nine bucks, that's a pretty cool uh, PS2 silver controller, DualShock 2, overall it looks in really nice shape. So that's pretty cool. I like the different uh, colors and you know that the PlayStation controllers have as well with the PS2 and all that. Um, this one, what's this game? X2 Wolverine's Revenge, and I also got uh, 007 Nightfire. So nine bucks for all these. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> uh, next game I'm going to show, this was just its own. It's a Game Boy Advance game. Uh, it's a Disney game, Ratatouille. I had seen very little gameplay of it. I think um, it's also on the uh, PS2. I'm not sure about the uh, other consoles. It might be. But uh, I picked it up for three bucks. Um, far as I know, if it's that same one, it's a pretty fun game. So, yeah, I picked it up to try it out. Why not? And the, and the cartoon, the movie is like really good too. I love that movie. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure it's based on the actual cartoon movie. Uh, these next two I picked up for five bucks. Earth Defense Force 2007. If you guys haven't played these games, um, I think there's three of them. There's also 2025, if I'm not mistaken. And Earth Defense Armageddon. That's the one that I don't have. I'm still looking out for that one. Uh, I did. I have played um, Earth Defense 2025, I think it was. So at first when I got this, I thought I was like, oh no, I don't want to get the same one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I didn't have this one. And there's also Armageddon. So yeah, I'm looking out for that, like I said. So for these two, I picked, uh, as I said, also very fun game. If you guys haven't played these, try it out. Uh, they're basically like third-person shooters where you go around and uh, shoot, like, as you can see here in the back screenshot, you shoot, like, uh, fight against robots and all kinds of, like, insects, and it's pretty cool. I haven't played this one. At least 2025 was like that. So um, I'm sure they're pretty much all the similar type games. So, and I also got uh, Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard. This looks really cool. I hope it's a fun game. So, yeah. Um, pick those two for five bucks. Um, these two 3DS games, uh, I paid $18 for. They're both pretty much complete with the manuals and the game and everything. Uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And I also picked up Pokemon Y. This is a different seller. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was about to say, where did this? Where was this game? So 18 as well. Uh, I picked this up as well. This is a lady that I know. She's really cool. She always hooks it up. Uh, MX2002 uh, featuring Ricky Carmichael. She was saying at first like 2025 for each of these. And I was like, no, that's like, uh, I can't do that. I mean, you know, they might be worth that much. But of course, flea market garage sales, you try to get it as cheap as possible. That's the whole point, um, you know. And uh, I was like, you know what, if you throw that in there, can you drop it down? I talked to her. I was like, uh, how about, you know, trying to negotiate on the prices. Then she's like, yeah, just take that as well, and I'll just do, like, 18 altogether. I was like, okay, that's fine. So 18 for all those three, I think is a great deal. Um, next, these are movies. Uh, I also got another one, which was a John Cena movie, 12 Rounds, but I didn't notice it. I just picked it up off the table with some lady selling it. And it turned out to be a PAL version. So, uh, as you guys know, the DVD players or whatever and all that, they're uh, region locked. So, I wasn't able to do that. And I watch my movies usually on my PS3, uh, the DVDs and all that. So, um, and of course, Blu-ray. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted a PS3, so I could watch my Blu-ray movies as well and also play my PS3 games. But anyway, uh, that's besides the point. So these, I paid two bucks for these movies and the John Cena movie. Not a big deal. I mean, it didn't work, but you know, because uh, it was a PAL movie, PAL region. But uh, I got, I picked up uh, I Spy and uh, Alpha Dog. Really great movies. Uh, this bunch over here, 
Uh, I think I paid like 30 bucks, something like that. Uh, G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. Are these complete? Yeah. I think this one's missing a manual. Uh, Shonen Jumps, One Piece Grand Battle. Yeah, this one's missing a manual. Uh, I also picked up Alone in the Dark. I believe this is like a um, Resident Evil style game, I hope, as far as I remember. So yeah, that as well. And I picked up these um, uh, GBA games, Game Boy Advance games. Uh, Dragon Ball GT Transformation. Donkey Kong Country 3. And uh, Pokemon Ruby version. So yeah, it was like 30 bucks for that. This bag right here I have oh, on the side of me, it's on the floor. Um, I think it was a Saturday I went and I didn't find a bunch of stuff, but this was like one of the things that I came across as a whole lot. I think I paid like 40 bucks for everything all together. So I picked up uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. I believe, yeah, that's complete. Um, SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Oh yeah, the disc was missing on this. I have this game. I didn't have the manual. Um, so now this will be complete. As far as I remember, yeah, the, the game for this, what I have, the game that I have for this, the manual is missing. So I was like, you know what, uh, it was husband and wife they were selling it. So they, they were like a buck a piece for the games. And, and I'm going to show few more things here and there like controllers they were like three dollars a piece so yeah those two i also got this game boy game as well uh tamagotchi kind of messed up the label but that's cool that's fine uh i picked up this as well in this lot um it is a uh white nintendo ds light yeah, it's a DS Lite. Uh, I did try to... Uh, I thought the thing was messed up. Where it was out of charge, but... I did ch charge it for like a while, but it, it... For, I guess, whatever reason, maybe the battery's messed up, or it just messed up on its own. It didn't end up working, but it's fine. I mean, I could flip these pretty easy. Uh, where I came across other Game Boys as well, and uh, sell them for like parts or as is, so I could flip it and make some money out of it. That's fine. That's cool. And I got a bunch of um, Nintendo controllers. There's one. There's two, there's three, there's another one, four. I'm most likely going to keep those, probably paint them, custom paint them myself. I want to get into that, I think it'll be fun. On um, Get like layover stickers and put like, you know, cool themes to it. So I think that'll be pretty awesome. If you guys have uh, seen before, um... I have the uh, custom, uh, custom uh, Link, Zelda style, and Metroid. I also have like the uh, Mega Man colored one, but I'm still looking out for the uh, decal layover sticker for that. So how many is that there? There's four right there, and there's five. Yeah. Oh, snap. I got a bunch of controllers. That's pretty cool. There's uh, six and seven. Uh, sorry about the wires are all mixed up. I have to untangle them afterwards and rubber band them so they don't get mixed up together. So there's seven. These are all OEM. Uh, as you guys know, OEM, of course, is original. It's 
origin it stands for original equipment manufacturer uh it's the actual nintendo one not a third party controller uh this one is but it looked really cool so i picked it up it's a hyperkin as you can see the edges are like uh, at least the bottom part they're like kind of like they have like an angle to them so it looked pretty cool and it's in pretty nice condition overall i mean it has some scratches on the back and i like that on the back where uh it gives like a more grip and some comfort as well two bumps on the back so that's pretty cool yeah i love getting these uh even the third party ones like different styles they're pretty cool so that as well and i also got this uh sega genesis 3 button controller and that was it so for all this i paid uh 40 bucks for Okay, next game I'm going to show is uh, Far Cry Vengeance. Uh, I don't know if I've heard of this one before, but uh, it looked pretty interesting. This is the only one that I got. It was from a different seller. Uh, paid five bucks for it. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, I would prefer playing with like the, uh, the classic pro controller or whatever it's called. Um, the classic controller. But... Uh, yeah, not too fond of the motion stuff, but uh, I will definitely try it out. It might be fun. It looks like a fun game, like a first-person type shooter kind of game. So I have five bucks for that. Um, next I'm going to show is I paid 15 for all of these. Um, Mario Pinball Land. Kirby's Pinball Land. Jet Moto 2. And I also got Gran Turismo. This thing is like super heavy. Uh, it's only one disc the game, but it's like a double uh, disc type where it's like the, the fat cases. Uh, but it only has one disc and there's like two manuals inside. So that's pretty cool. There's one manual, it is complete. And there's the other one. So that's like a reference manual. I didn't even check the manual on this. I mean, the disc on this, the condition. So let's check it out now. Mm, not bad. Just some uh, fingerprints, smudges here and there. So yeah, I remember I used to play this a lot as a kid. Um, yeah. Where you could get a race for cars and make get money and uh, and upgrade it all. There's a crack on the back of the case. I hate that. Uh, anyway, but yeah, overall, it's in pretty good condition. For all that, 15 bucks, I think this is a great deal. Yeah. Okay, next, uh, I'm going to show, I think, uh, how much should I pay for these? Oh. Uh, again, they were like husband and wife. This is a different booth. Uh, very cool people. So I, I had a chat with them for a for a, a little bit. We were talking and stuff and you know. And uh so I was like, how much are you asking for the games? And then I put it all together. Uh at first I noticed like a fat PS2 on the on the on the floor with no wires, no controllers, nothing. So then I noticed there was like games on the um on the table. So I picked up these three games for nine bucks. Uh, I didn't have this. I don't know. I hope this is a, a fun game. It looks like a kid's game, but it's all good. A lot of these kid-friendly games ha uh, end up being, like, super fun. hope this one is. Uh, Elmo's Letter Adventure. And I did put the uh, top label on there. The spine label. So it looks cool on the shelf. And I know where my games are. Uh, I also picked up Family Guy Video Game. Hope this will be fun as well. Give that a play one day. And I also picked up Virtual Fighter 4. Uh, it's 
red label greatest hits but that's fine and i'm also like uh i love my fighters as well so i'm trying to uh expand the library of the fighter games in my collection so looking out for those so that's pretty cool yeah uh nine bucks for those three uh this was a different seller uh Disc only, it's the Xbox game, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I paid uh, three bucks for that. <clears throat> and this was interesting. Um, I paid ten bucks for all of this. So there was one game especially where I was looking out for. And I, I wasn't even going to end up uh, maybe buying it online one day. But I found it in the wild, which is cool. And I'll show you guys which game that was. Uh, Bad Boys Miami Takedown. One of the games that is complete. There's the man in there. Yeah. Um, this, I hadn't heard this one or seen this one before. Saturday Night Speedway. I think... Um, yeah, the man is missing on that. Atari title. Hopefully it's a good one. Looks like a Doom Buggy type or like some kind of racer type game. Uh, I also picked up, I was looking out for this one as well. Uh, Warhammer 40,000 Fire Warrior. I think this is a first person shooter. But the, uh, yeah, the manual is missing on that. And the game that I was saying that I wanted and had been looking out for. Uh, Working Designs Ultra Series. Sylphie, The Lost Planet. Love that cover art with the shininess to it. The manual's missing on it, but... Oh, even the back has it. That is awesome. This is a very good... Uh, really good uh, top-down uh, shooter schmuck. As you can see, when I saw this, I was like, whoa, I definitely picked it up. So I made like a little pile here. So I walked up to the guy. I was like, how much are you asking for it? He's like, oh, 10 bucks. I'm like, okay, cool. There you go. Okay. Uh, next pile. Uh, I paid 50 bucks for everything here. Different seller. A uh, little Nemo Dream Master. It might seem a lot, but I think it was worth it. Uh, Casino Kid. Super Mario World. This is just a freaking disaster, but I have to clean it up. Um, we'll see. It'll, it'll get cleaned up, hopefully. Uh, I also picked up uh, Hexen. Uh, Perfect Dark. Perfect. Uh, Pilot Wing 64, another Pilot Wing 64, Star Wars uh, 1, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. These I might end up trading or flipping. Uh, usually trading, I do it locally. Um, anyway, uh, I also picked this up. I never heard of this one. Not an expensive game at all, but it, it just looked pretty interesting. And as you can see, I have the spine label on that. Um, Twisted Edge Extreme Snowboarding. I also got, uh, what is that? Saban's Power Ranger. What is that? Light? Light Speed Rescue. Black Cartridge. Got the label on that as well. Oh, I had been looking out for this for quite a while. I think this is like a um, Disney character based uh, Mario Kart style racer. So that's pretty cool. Label's not in the best condition, but I'll take it for now. Definitely want to give this a play. Um, Mickey Speed USA. Label on there as well. At first when I saw this, I thought it was like the other version, which was like, no, it can't be. Because that's like super, super rare and very sought after. But uh, nonetheless, I didn't have it, and I picked it up. Uh, at first, I thought it was Sculptor's Cut. I got a little too excited. But no, I'll take this as well. This is a great game. I hope it is. I mean, basically, clay 
fighter. Uh, it's a clay fighter, 63 and one third. I think it's like a fighter type game, like a, like a street fighter style. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the cover art on that. Also picked up this Wii Sports. It's complete with the manual. The disc is in really pretty good condition, actually. I wouldn't say perfect tic tac, but it's it's really good. And I also picked up a Sega Genesis game, uh, Chakan, Chakin, Chakan. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I hope I didn't butcher it, but I think it's Chakan. Uh, I believe this is a, a a good game. So yeah, another one to the you don't, I don't find Genesis games all the time, but every now and then I might come across. Still looking out for more. Anyway, so yeah, for all those that I just showed, those are um, that, that was all 50 bucks. Uh, I picked this cool third-party uh, dog bone controller uh, for $2. Uh, the box was open, but it looks brand new. It's still like in the, uh, as you can see, in the plastic bag and all that. So, yeah, and I love my Nintendo games, of course, uh, so it'll be fun to um, actually, uh, you know, play my Nintendo games with a dog bone controller, even though it's not a, a first party, like an OEM one, but I'll take it, man, for two bucks. That just looks really cool, and uh, the, the roundness around it, which uh, I believe it's going to give a lot more comfortable feeling when you hold it and play it. Because the original ones, I mean, they're great. I love the controllers, but the edges sometimes, you know, it gets like it gives a little discomfort to your to your hand, your fingers. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely uh, play it. Maybe I might play Castlevania uh, later on, and uh, I'll use that controller. All right. Anyway, uh, these two non-video game, but still, I think badass. Uh, I paid two for five bucks, brand new, of course. Um, Superman uh, Snapback, as you can see, says this is a job. This looks like a job for, and it's the Superman logo. And uh, on the back, there's another one right there. So that looks really cool. Uh, and I also got this one as well, another Snapback. It's the, uh, with the... American flag, I like it. Plus, it's the initial of my first name, so I, you know, picked it up. Uh, that's pretty cool. Kind of goes with it, too. I don't know. So, yeah, two for five bucks. Why not? I love my hats as well. That was a pretty good deal. There was a lady selling those, the hats. She was saying, like, I think, like, three a piece, which is a great, great price, of course. Um... I wish she had more. I would have picked up more if there were like maybe different type of comics or or even video game related, which I haven't found any yet in the wild. I might even end up, I want to get more like video game related stuff, even like comic books or anything cool like that, where it comes to like hats and shirts, um, especially video game related hats and clothing. Okay, um, that was that, and I still got a bunch of stuff more to show. All right, uh, all these really quick. I'm gonna show. I got it for a buck a piece. Uh, Gran Turismo 3 A Spec. I also picked up a UFC Throwdown. These are non-video game related, but I think there is a video game on the uh, of this series on the GameCube. I don't know if there's any more for the any more for any other series, uh, any other consoles. But I picked them up for a dollar a piece. They're VHS, as I said. Why not? Uh, Metabots. This is Volume One. They're all brand new. They're all sealed. Uh, Metabots. That's Volume Two. Volume 4, Volume 3, that's another Volume 4, uh, Volume 6, and 
and another volume six. I also got uh, Digimon, the movie. Uh, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. I'm probably going to flip these. I have no use for them. Uh, I don't even have a VHS. Uh, Metabots volume four again. And um, what is that? 10th anniversary masterpiece collection or oh, 50th anniversary uh, melody time so yeah a dollar a piece for all of these i think it was like 13 bucks altogether something like that i didn't keep count of what i got but yeah that was that uh, i also picked up uh five of these actually uh for 30 bucks playstation 4 um what are, what are these universal media remotes? They're all brand new and I did get five of them. So that was pretty cool. Take my word for it. And I also picked up this uh, board game, which is pretty cool. It's still brand new sealed. I think I paid like $7 for it. Um, the Walking Dead, the prison. So yeah, it's still sealed as you guys can see. It has that thing right there. So yeah, seven dollars on that. Alrighty, uh, next I uh, picked up this movie, Hitman Unrated. I actually watched this last night. Um, it was uh, I had seen it before. Uh, video game based or inspired by the video game. Freaking awesome movie, man. Yeah, I wish they made another uh, a part of it with the same actor and characters or whatnot. That would have been really cool. So this guy really uh, did a good job playing Agent 47. Really good movie. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Hitman, unrated. Uh, Alright, these two I picked up uh, randomly going to the flea market. It was uh, some guy selling stuff on a sidewalk. And I noticed the green cases like driving by, like things like that. Woo! I go into uh, Terminator mode pretty much. Uh, have a good eye. And um, yeah, I paid uh, six bucks for both. He was saying three apiece. Anyway, uh, Shrek Super Slam. And also picked up The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer. I believe they're both complete. Yeah. And I also picked up uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, the manual's missing. I know this guy, so he's a pretty funny character, funny guy. Uh, he usually uh, tries selling stuff and um, uh, like pretty much like not overpriced, but online prices and all that. Uh, this is the guy from the flea market. I'll, I even picked up a Sega Genesis. Uh, Pretty much complete in the box with everything. Um, that was a while ago, the Genesis. But yeah, um, so I was like talking to him. Yeah, like uh, a few other games. He was asking like, I don't know, high up prices. So I asked him like, all right, uh, how much you asking for this? Um, I think, how much did I get this for? Yeah, I paid uh, $13 for this, even without the manual missing. I think it's worth it. Uh, I have the uh, double disc collection, the double disc one in my collection, which was a, a, a pretty cool upgrade. And uh, yeah, it was a really fun racing game. So yeah, I saw so this one is pretty much, I think, I think it's pretty much sold already, if I'm not mistaken i don't know if not it will uh okay this stack right here um i paid 35 dollars for 007 agent under fire uh atv off-road fury atv off-road fury 3 uh, Power Rangers Super Legends 15th anniversary. The manual's missing on that one. 
uh, Men in Black 2 Alien Escape, uh, 007 Agent Under Fire, that's for the PS2, uh, Need for Speed Nitro, Monster Trucks Mayhem, We Fit, I don't know why I got two of these, I'm going to flip them most likely, one of them's probably missing a manual, I think, yeah. Uh, Alien Syndrome, uh, WWF, it looks like, because, yeah, there's, like, Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, I don't know, uh, anyway, All-Stars of the wrestling thing, so, this guy as a kid was, like, one of my favorite, um, uh, wrestlers, I don't even follow wrestling anymore, used to as a kid, when I was, like, really, really young, and uh, I also got uh, Tupac, Are You Still Down? Um, yeah, I listened to the, to the first CD on the way back from the flea market going home. Uh, yeah, there's some really badass songs on this and really nice beats as well to them. So, uh, uh, yeah, there's like, it's a double CD. Anyway, uh, I paid 35 bucks for... All that and then uh, these uh, I got from a reseller which was interesting he was that they were folded all nice in a plastic case like glass case whatever it is on um, he's pretty much on point with his prices on games and all that and uh, he even told me like you take them you know get these they're gonna add value to your games and this and that I was like okay so I was like how much are you asking for them so it goes five dollars a piece so I was like you got it. And they're in phenomenal condition. Um, Pokemon, it's just the boxes only. Uh, Pokemon uh, Silver version. As you can see, it has like scratches here and there. But overall, in just fantastic condition. I also got a gold version. And I kept asking them, are you going to get more boxes? Because I need boxes. And uh, a nice way to display your games he said for now no maybe i might later um and i also picked up this one it was just these three donkey kong land three so yeah guys uh three boxes game boy and game game boy and game boy color for uh 15 bucks five bucks a piece can't beat it that was definitely cool i was really excited to get those so i could put my games in there uh, Donkey Kong Land 3, I don't have yet, but I will probably pick it up. Um, I don't know. And I need also the manuals, and it, as you can see, just the box. And I also need the, uh, the tray or whatever it takes where um, you put the game inside to hold it. And yeah, so those three, that was 15 uh, bucks. I picked this up just alone, ATV2 uh, Quad Power Racing for 2 bucks. I think it's complete. Um, uh, all these I paid 15 bucks for. I think there was another one as well. I'm not sure. Probably I mixed it up with the other ones. I think it was a GameCube 007 game. Anyway, uh, I picked up Mech Assault, uh, Superman, The Man of Steel, uh, Speed Racer, the video game. Uh, Need for Speed Underground, and Super Pickups. And I gotta say, these are Super Pickups. <laughs> yeah, if I don't say so myself. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, for all that, and I think I mixed up one of the other games. Anyway, whatever. I paid 15 bucks for those. Um, make some room over here. I really like uh, doing my, making my videos here in the den because, like I said before, it is a lot more comfortable because, uh, you know, I have the coffee table in front of me and um, sitting on the couch. Anyway, um, I got these three movies and Call of Juarez as well, all for five bucks, I think. I don't know where I put that one. Uh, I actually... No, hold up. It's right here. Oh, man. Never mind. I mixed it up in this stack. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there it is. Call of War is Bound by Blood. And I 
also picked up these movies. What about Bob? Howlingly funny. Oh, yes. Freaking hilarious movie. Uh, My Girl. Uh, classic. Another classic. Encino Man. Awesome movie. So, yeah. Uh, all that for, I think, yeah, like, I paid like five bucks for all that. Something like that. Um, This pile right here. I had more games. I um, uh, ended up selling a lot of them, a few of them here and there, whatever was left out of it anyway. But I paid uh, 60 bucks for everything. It might seem not a, a lot from what I'm going to show, but uh, a few of them that I had no interest for. Or I, didn't, I think um, it was a couple of them. I think it was like a Need for Speed game for the uh, Xbox 360. And uh, left for dead or something, something like that. Anyway, I paid sixty bucks for all these. Uh, South Park, the Stick of Truth, Halo Three, Avatar: The Last Airbender, The Burning Earth, uh, Hitman Absolution. Titanfall, Condemned Criminal Origins, uh, 007 Nightfire, Unreal Championship, Unreal 2 The Awakening, uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, IHRA Drag Racing 2, what is that? Uh, Game of the Year edition, uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I love my first-person shooters as well. Um, I, I'm actually currently playing um, uh, on the three Xbox 360 Borderlands. Freaking love that game. And uh, it's basically like a first-person shooter with uh, RPG elements. Amazing game. I love it. Um, I'm actually going to play that before I play Castlevania with the uh, Dogbone controller. So... Anyway, um, there's also uh, Borderlands 2. So just uh, you know, let you guys know what I'm currently playing right now. So I'm playing Borderlands on the Xbox 360. Um, it just came to mind because seeing all these first-person shooters. Uh, Call of Duty 3. As you can see, it says Call of Duty 3 is a must-own. So yeah. Uh, Call of Duty World at War. Saints Row 2. I really want to get into the series. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm... A, I don't know. I might be mistaken. But I think this is like a... Grand Theft auto -y type game, maybe. Uh, before I play this, I want to play the first one. Uh, it has that little nice shininess to it. I like that. The cover art. Um, yeah, so I could get into the series like with the story mode and all of that. Hopefully it's good. Uh, I also picked up uh, Brothers in Arms, uh, Hell's Highway, and uh, this was pretty cool. Um, uh, Battle Fantasia. Seems like a, like a 2D fighter, like a Street Fighter style game. So yeah. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Um, all of this bunch of stuff that I found. Just uh, coming across a lot of great stuff. And I'm so, like, thankful for. And uh, just so fun, man. I love going out game hunting whenever I get a chance. Uh, just, you know, go out and find all these amazing games and add it to the collection. And, yeah, I'm pretty much uh, running out of space. Nowadays, um, I never knew where it was going to be a problem to uh, store the games. And... Uh, there was times where I would be like, oh man, I can't find any games. It's like really dry. And there was a lot of dry spells, but it's it's going really good. And as I've said before, as long as I find like, you know, um, uh, games and game related stuff and, you know, you know, it just, uh, it's, it's, it's cool. And I'll always meet uh, games, uh, you know, videos. And uh, just show you guys what I find in uh, my neck of the woods, you know. So it's 
it's a, it's a great thing. I wish I knew these things were out there like a long time ago, but it's better late than never. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Sam's out.